Hello everyone, today I'm back after a little break and I'm gonna continue texturing the London Underground D78 train. So let's jump straight into it. I'm not gonna do too much of an introduction today because this is part two. If you haven't seen the first part, go take a look at part one. Okay, so I'm gonna create another texture template because I moved some parts around as I said at the end of the last video. So, oh yeah. So whenever I create the texture, I always have to turn on all the parts first or else it's not gonna export that part of the texture map. Okay, yeah. Since I changed some sizing, the mapping of the texture is gonna be different. So I need to regenerate it and save this overwrite the one I had before. Let's open that up. And this is the texture we were originally working with, but I'm going to delete this because this is no longer valid. And instead, copy this one in. So let's resize that. So that it's four times the resolution, just like before. That should be correct, I think. And cool. Change this back to by cubic, so we can use that later. Okay, looks like some of these are also in the right positions, so that's great. So I'm going to remove this template. We don't need that anymore. Um, instead, we can use this one. Okay. So let's turn off all the parts again. And let's go through them again to see if the texture mapping has changed. And if we need to rearrange anything. So for the window, the ground, that looks good. The wall is good. And I think some of the doors got messed up. So the door exterior sliding one. Okay, this one moved up here, so I gotta move that piece up. Okay. Cool. And then the second one right here. Nice. Okay. And last time we also did the exterior window. And that's right here. That looks good to me. Okay. So, let's continue with the window. And the door. We need that top bit now. Looks like it's just some advertising panels. And then this part is just white. So, if you remember from last time, we did a ton of Googling. And we're going to do the same thing today. Wonder if we can get a good picture. Whoa. This is an upgrade. This is not bad, I think. Yeah. I think this is workable, I think. Oh, it's a bit small, though. I 
think that might be the best picture so far. Okay. Let's try it anyway. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And then we're going to use Photoshop again to try to do a perspective crop. This is a bit blurry, but I mean, better than nothing, I guess, since it'll be scaled down in Minecraft anyway. And it's a bit challenging because it's curved. So, actually, you know what, I'm just going to get the horizontal lines first. And then do some editing to get this vertical line as well. Not too sure how that's going to work. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that. So I'm going to get this is part. Okay. Whoa, what happened there? That's harder than it looks. Why doesn't Photoshop do it properly? Okay. Why don't we open this up here? And try to just cut it out from here. Rotate it. Then skew it up a little. That looks good. Now the middle is just bulging a little bit, but I think we can resolve that. Okay. So each window has a round three of these. I'm going to copy this. This texture is going to be right here. I'll just copy this whole thing here. Crop out the parts we don't need. There we go. So if this part is three, This is the door section, okay. This is the window section, 
So that's 64 in total. From one door to the next door. And 64 we need to squish in. Five of these panels. Right. I'm not going to divide this to be. 12.8 times 4. 51 or 50. Yeah. So we'll need this width to be 51 and height to be 50. that. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. I think that's not bad. I did say we were going to revise the system map part down here. So, I'll revise that a little later. So, we have five. That means we've got one here, one in the middle. I will make this 52 just so that it balances out in the middle cut out half of it. So that goes there. This goes here. And then one overhangs the side here. Like that. And then this one goes to the next door. Which is up here. Okay, does that line up? Or did I do my math wrong? That should be correct, I think. So... Yep, that's... One... One and a half. And then the door section needs... One, two... Oh, yes, I see. So this... Wait, no. Are you sure that's the door part? No, it's the one up here. And there we go, that matches. Ooh, I was thinking I was doing something wrong. And the height should not be 25. The height should just be 24, so I'm going to cut off one pixel at the top there. This looks a little weird with this bump, so I'm going to copy this and stretch it over. Thing with here. Cool. Now we need the vertical lines. That one. That should be pretty simple. I will just draw a line down the middle. Make it like this color and 50% transparency so it blends in better. Darker, I guess. Yep. There it is. And then copy that up 
here. Okay, that looks good to me. I will flatten these. And there we are. That's the top of the the door part. That's where the advertising goes. Yeah, that actually looks not bad. Happy with that result. Okay, now one more thing is the map right there. And you notice that this part looks more green than this part. This part looks kind of red. So I'm just going to cheat a little bit here since it's basically white. I am going to make this grayscale to remove any color tint so that it will become black and white only. Okay, yeah, this one is skewed a little bit, so I need to redo the map, which is pretty simple. Um, I saved the website. Uh, did not save properly. Let's see. Is there a good picture of the map? I thought there was... Oh, that was Google Images. It was like one of these pictures right here. It's really hard to find pictures of the windows because everyone takes photos like straight down the middle of the train and no one takes pictures of the side window. This is a good one, I think. I think this is the one I used last time. Okay. Let's give this a go. I need to rename this. I'll copy that. It's not going to look very neat because it's going to be flipped around. But it doesn't matter because it'd be so blurry you can't see it anyway. So... Try to cut it nicely. Here. Right about there. Okay, I can fix this skew a bit. In a second. Good enough, I think. Yep, this goes away. And this can go here. Let's see how big I need to scale it to. So these are the window notches. Around 9214. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Straight lines. I think that's good enough. Now, I'm going to do the same thing here. Map will be black and white. But... Um, Okay, to make it not black and white, I'm going to cut out the map, and these two bits would be grayscale, and the map I will 
manually adjust the hue to make it not red. Now it's green. This is the hardest part because I'm not that good with colors, but I think I would do. Blacks in this and windows good. Since we're going to flip this part to the other side, you're going to see this district line label on both sides, but oh well. <laughs> Now for the ceiling, this picture is actually usable, I think. Or maybe we can find a, a better picture. I just want a picture that I can see the roof completely and I can stretch it. So this one might also work. No, but it has that green pull down the middle. This one has too much reflection. What about this one? Is this the one we used before? I guess this one might work. Let's just try it. And save that just in case. This picture is very red. We're gonna have to color correct that later as well. But first I'm gonna cut out the ceiling nicely. so that it's not distorted. There we go. That's a actually a pretty good picture. Hey, copy or save that. And then pull that in. This is a uh, 13 wide, so let's take a look at the light, actually. So the light doesn't cover the ceiling, so we need the texture to go all the way to the very edge. Okay. 13 times 4 is 52. So copy this. Paste. That is really big. The texture is up here. So the width of this will be 104 because that's half of 52. Um, no, let's edit it first. So what we need to do is get rid of the noisy parts of this. So I want this part of the grill plus this part of the top. Wait. This part of the top, this part of the grill, and this part of the left. So that's where the light bleeds out. And then 
this part of here. Hmm. And this part up here. It's a lot of piecing things together. So now we can delete this and move this to y zero, move this to y zero. Move this to y0, and so on. Ooh, there's a duplicate. Okay. I just moved this across. Fill that hole. Okay, now this doesn't match up exactly, which is fine. We'll use the eraser technique again to kind of blur the edges. That's good enough. So I'm going to flatten this selection. Actually, no. Make each part like uh, 32. No, it's the actual height of that. Twenty-three. So that's ninety-two. So I'm gonna make each part ninety-two. Flatten this, copy and paste. That's a near perfect ceiling. 52 for the width. And there we go. Perfect ceiling. Now you notice there's a little bit of red on there as well. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Pull down the saturation so it's only grayscale. Okay. And then the light. Light should be pretty simple. I should have deleted this. Now it created two texture maps right there. But that's okay. Not not the worst thing ever. I'm going to remap this over to here so that I only need to do the, the texture once. I'm going to mirror this as well. So it flips the texture for this part. So now nothing is using this bit. So usually what I like to do is to delete it off this texture map so that I don't confuse myself later. So I think... It was this part right there. So I'm just going to delete this so I don't confuse myself later. Okay. So the lights have this bar every few sections, so I'm going to try to do that as well. But otherwise, the light should be all white, so that it glows in the game. So no border, and just white. Same for here. So right now, it's just going to be a white bar. 
So it looks like there's a notch in the middle of the windows and then at the edge of the windows. So remember that this is 64, all three combined. So 64 over 3 would be 21. So I'm going to make these two parts 21 uh, times 4 is 85. So this is 85, 85, 86 for the door light. So, to draw that line, I'm going to make a gray rectangle with a width of 2 to see how that turns out. Like that. Let's see where that ended up. Right there. So, no, I wanted it on the other side. Like, right here. And then I want the same thing as well to match yep I want it on all four pieces I'm just guessing at this point but it looks like yeah this is the right spot so what did I say 55 85 would be the width of one light so I'll draw a rectangle just for a template. And then draw another one here. That would be the separator, just like before. Actually, Since this is the middle bit, it should be double the width. Okay. I know I'm going pretty fast, and it might be a bit confusing. I'm just drawing these lines on the light. And doing some math for that. Okay, so... Same thing for here, 85, and height of 4, perfect. So now we've got this light segment, and then for the, um, Door light. Oh, we actually don't have a part for the light on the door. So we might be able to reuse that existing light piece. And just move it over and render it. I think I'll worry about that later because this window, this window folder is done for now. Okay. So this partial window is where the vent will be. So now I need a good picture for the vent. Hopefully this website has a good picture of that. This? Okay.
I'm just gonna copy out the top part because the bottom is basically the same. Um, I'm not sure if I want the windows to be open, but it's really hard to find a good picture. So I'm just going to use this for now. If you guys want to retexture it, that's also okay. Hang on a second, I'm going to pause the stream for now, because I need to take care of something else real quick. Okay, I'm back, and we've got the window now, or the vents. So let's see how we can put this in here. I'm going to delete this bottom bit, just because the main... The some light is shining through here, so that's good, I think. Um, so window partial. I actually don't think we need need it such a huge piece here, but I mean, since I made it, I don't want to readjust things again. So. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to put a square here so that it lines up nicely with this hole. Actually, I can just copy this and test it. Where is the texture map? Here. So actually the green face is facing outwards, so I want this other face. And where's my window? Did I put that in yet? No, I haven't. And there it goes. I just want half of it. And the width of this is 15, wait, yeah, 59. Okay, that kind of fits, right? <laughs> yeah, that actually fits pretty well. So if I turn this off, there it goes, put this back. Nice. That fits. Now I need to actually if I cut out this whole window, you probably can't even tell. So I'm going to try that. So let's do the same thing for the window curve as well. So two, what was it? Two, one, one, two. Two, one, one, and I'm missing a square. Might be easier if I make the background dark, and then just draw another square here. Yeah. So I think this pillar right here also needs to be one extra. I'm actually not sure what color that's supposed to be. That's probably 
this is probably the exterior color. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to um, make this black and white so it blends in better. Delete that. Oh, <laughs> black background. Okay, that matches nicely. Two, one, one, two. Same as down here. Perfect. And then also the window exterior, we want to do the same thing. Let's figure out where this piece is. That one's right there. And so I'm going to copy this, put it up here. Remember that green spacing out. Ooh. What did I just do? I don't know. Okay, this actually doesn't need to be color corrected that much, but I think I'm going to just copy it from here so that the color matches a bit better. So, bye bye. And this goes here. Okay. So, this is grayscale, but this is not. So, I think actually if we made the whole train exterior grayscale as well that might look better i think except the blue part of course so cut that out oh wait i don't need to do it here i'll do it for this bit of course flatten these two parts by flattening the parts, it just makes Firework use less memory, so it's just nice to do darken this, I guess. Especially if you have so many effects stacked on top of each other, it eats up Firework's memory really quickly. So I just made a copy of that gonna make this black and white and then black and these cool now the window exterior I think that works nicely. Can't really tell, but I'm gonna trust that it works. But one extra thing I wanna do is cut out those extra pixels here, or else there's gonna be texture fighting. So to do that, color fill this to red so I can see it a bit more clearly use my selection to delete out these extra pixels. So, see now there's a nice curve? That's what I wanted. Okay, so that's the vents done. We're knocking out these pieces one by one. First, we need to make the roof, though. The roof and then the section down here. That actually shouldn't be that hard, because I think there are more images of those. And actually, this website also has some, I think. Okay. 
That's a good picture. That one right there. Kind of hard to get the ceiling picture. Oh, never mind. Here's one. Like I want a top-down view if I can. This one is a bit too reflective. A bit too light-colored. Okay. This is probably the best picture so far, I think. And I can't really tell where these ridges are. So that's going to be annoying. But I think this will do for now. So this, I'm just going to be lazy and use snipping tool. Because this is relatively straight. Okay. Delete this guy. Goodbye, Sky. Then this part is where it starts the gray. So, how many units do we have in total? So the gray part goes the flat part and then an equal distance up. So this is the flat part and then an equal distance up. So how much is that? Nine. I'm going to do it section by section because it's a bit easier like this. So this one would be 9 right there. Cool. And then the next roof section would be right there. I would give that around... Uh, Ten, eleven, ten. Sure. Yeah, that looks about equal. And then the rest would just be gray. So seven plus six plus six. That's nineteen times four, seventy-six. Except that we minus ten from there, so that's sixty-six. But I did not want to stretch these dots, though. Maybe I would combine it with this bottom part so it doesn't get stretched out too badly. So instead of 10, I'm going to do something like... Um, Thirteen. So this bottom part is still around ten. Nice. And then this part. Thirteen. Twenty-six minutes. Thirteen sixty-three. So this part would span sixty-three in total. This part is here. And 
in this part. Wait, I forgot to calculate here. Four units. It's okay. We can just stretch it out even more. And I don't want the sky blue here. So there's a seven plus four, eleven. That means we need that, and that. Wait, yeah, yeah. And then that piece is where here. This one's rotated. Nice, that's the roof. I'm gonna make this part grayscale as well so that there's no color tint to it. It's just a little nice touch to make it look a bit neater. It's optional, of course. Um, here. There we go. And this as well. I'm just going to flatten these two parts together and flatten these together because this is one piece. Yep. All right. Now for the floor, there's a little ridge down at the bottom. I guess it's just all black. Or like a dark color. That's a good picture. Or this is a good picture too. So after the, the door, there's a step. Yeah. This step is silver, and then the rest is just part of the livery. Copy that, paste it here. Just gonna try to get away with just skewing this. Skewing is, as you can see, it's a bit harder than doing the perspective crop, but I'm just lazy to import it in. So let's do this floor as well. Why is this floor so long for the door exterior? I think I did this part wrong. This one should only be um, like this size. Like that. And then here. Which is fine. We'll just have to delete this part. It's okay to make parts smaller because you don't have to remap everything else, but if you make parts bigger, then overlapping starts to occur, and that's going to be annoying. So in this case, I'm just going to modify this part of the texture map to match my changes. So I made this one block thick, so that's going to be there. This part can be gone. This part comes here instead. And 
artist gone. And this part goes here. Cool. So that's the bottom ledge of the, the door. I think I should find a better picture, actually. This website, yeah, that's a much nicer image. Um, wait. I can copy this whole bottom part, that'd be ideal. Okay, don't need this anymore. All right, and this goes to the newly remapped part, which is this one, I think. There we go. And then the top would probably just match this as well, so I'm going to be lazy and just flip it and put it there. And then the bottom. Usually I just make it a standard gray color. And that's it, I think. Mm -hmm. and this bottom part is where? Here. So, approximately there. It doesn't really need to be exact, but um, it's this size. And this, the other piece, I'm going to make the other faces also dark gray. Make this black and white. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, so unfortunately this part actually needs to be stretched down more. Because this little black part is supposed to match up with this line. So, cut that. Stretch this out. And put it here. This can go right there. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. So if that piece is over there. That matches up with the, the door nicely. Finally, this bottom section, very similar to what we did with the other part. And this one is up there. So 
So I don't really want this thing to show up again. So I'm going to copy this part of the texture. Is it right there? Yeah. With its 92. All right, the colors line up pretty well too, so that's good. And finally, make this black and white like that. Okay. One thing that I almost forgot to do is make this face right here also textured because when the when the door is here you don't want to see a gap there so this is two which means there's eight unit space there Oops. Um. Realistically, the, the door is only going to take up that much. So this is like half a, half a block space. But the interior part here, we also forgot to texture here, this part. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is make the exterior one block and then the interior two. So then it just overlaps in the middle there. Let's see how that works out. So this will go all the way one block. So that's four units. For, I think the blue side, yellow side. Flip that so it matches nicely. And, well, I guess we don't really need to cut out that top part. It's kind of optional. It'll just be covered. And then the window would need to come out two blocks. Oh, and I also forgot to make this go down all the way as well. Because the pillar goes all the way down to the ground, I think. Yeah, there's a handrail here. Oh, the only handrail on one side, though, actually. What about if I don't draw it yet? <laughs> I'll just make a generic wall for now there. And this gray part uh, lines up with the seat. Okay, remember that last time I talked about moving the seats up to this line? So I did that off camera. So now the seats are aligned with this line right 
here. Sort of aligned, not exactly. But it's good enough for texturing. So I'm going to drag this texture down. Right? Yeah, this is a smooth piece that goes down. Gray down here. With a height of 5. And that looks smooth enough that I can't just sketch it out. So, this is a 3 block gap. The height of 5. Which means... Height of 5 means 20, 3 block means 12, and I think I'll use this lighter gray color, and then this gradient, I will just copy this part and drag it down. That works, but it looks a bit ugly here. I kind of want the gradient effect too. So what I'm going to do is, oops, copy that, put it here, and then Adjust the brightness just right so it blends in. Um, 35. Yeah, and then use my little eraser trick to blur out the edge. Okay, that actually turned out better than I thought. So, this is too dark. So 666 is too light, and then 333 is too dark, so I'm going to try, like, 50. Why is it so dark? This picture is so light. I think this whole thing is just too dark. This whole section in general. So I'm going to flatten this first, and then raise the brightness all at once. This is supposed to be like white, right? Um, actually, not the map. I don't want the map to go too bright as well. So I made a copy, and then adjust the brightness. And contrast a little bit. The contrast doesn't go up, it actually looks kind of weird. So that looks good, I think. Good. To me. And then this can now use that color and actually look decent. One, two, three, button. Yeah. I think that works. This could be a little lighter, but I think that's good for now. And then, now to copy this part over here, remember that we said it's only going to be um, two blocks, so that's eight. Yeah, so there we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, that's the window. You can hide the seats for now. That 
that's the door. Door interior, actually. So is the exterior done? Exterior is almost finished. We just need to put the roof on. So I think that's what I'm going to do and then call it a day for the stream because it's already been one hour and ten minutes. So, and I'm also getting hungry. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy the roof from the other bits because it's going to be the same textures as well. Um... So that's the bottom part. Where? Oh, here. I merged it in already. Here. Okay. That part goes with Whoa. The roof is wrong. Uh oh. Uh. Is the end roof wrong as well? I do hope not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just the door. Hmm. Good news is that there's not too many changes that needs to be done. So. Okay, I'm going to delete these. Delete, 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 delete. And then copy these. And to... Um... Door exterior, which has an 18 width. Okay. Now I need to rearrange these to find a good spot for them. Good thing they all have a zero width, so it's easier to find a spot to fit these textures into. Okay. So that can go there. I think that works. And this one? No, it can't. That's unfortunate. Um... Here. Trying to bunch these up close, oops, closely. So that texturing might be a little easier if they're in a row, but doesn't necessarily have to be like that. You have to be very careful that things don't overlap. And then this top piece go right there. Okay. Save that. Then delete this and generate a new template. This time I'm gonna turn off rearrange UV because I don't want it to shuffle all my pieces up again. I just, oh, I need to turn on all the parts. Yeah, I just wanted to regenerate the texture map without shuffling up my pieces. 
So I'm gonna do this. Try that again. There we go. Save that. Delete it. Open it. Pop key. And delete everything in this layer. Paste. Change this to nearest neighbor so when it scales, it wouldn't be fuzzy. X and Y zero, and then twenty seven times four is oh, I forgot to enable the keep aspect ratio. Okay. We replaced it with the new texture map now. So I think we're good to go. Okay, let me continue making the new roof sections now then. So this one, I think it's here. I want these bolts to be symmetrical, actually. Just so that it would line up better with the window. So that is six right there. Ten. So two units. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I think I want to fix this as well. Magic Eraser. Bam. Okay. This is locked. I didn't lock it. Put the texture back here. Cool. And then this one, this piece is right there. And we'll copy that to there. This one, copy here, trick this part, and done. This part goes here, there to there. And then this to that. Cool. All right, there we have it. Oh, this one is messed up. Where did I paste the bar? I think I pasted it here. It's supposed to go up there. Me 
needs to be a bit longer. Cool. And then, as usual, I'm going to make the bottom gray. So that when you look up, there's not going to be a hole. Okay. That is some good progress for today, I would say. It does take a long time, but I think the results are definitely worth it. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to continue with this door part. It's already... There's already some parts that are done, which is good. So, tune in for the next episode to watch me finish texturing. I probably won't finish next time from the pace that I'm going, but hope you've learned a thing or two today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.